This is my first ever Q&A. I might do more in the future if people want me to. Although, no promises. Let's get into the questions. Are you gay? No, I have a girlfriend. And I'm not a sounder. Why did you join ACL or Arsenal Scrimmage Hub? I used to be more of a comp player back in September when I would play 2v2s more in a competitive way back then. Surely I have gotten a lot better at the game since then but I can't play due to people disliking me in the community and mostly for the fact that people still think I cheat. How old are you? 15. Why do you like News Girl so much? Mostly for the fact of back in 2020 when I first started Arsenal, when I originally met the original Angry Aimer he used the News Girl skin and Showtime swing and emoted on me every time he got a kill. As corny as it sounds, I liked the skin since then and personally I think it's cute. Do you still enjoy playing Arsenal? What games besides Arsenal do you play? What game besides Roblox do you play? Do you see yourself play Arsenal in the future? What's your favorite Arsenal gun? What's your favorite Arsenal knife? What's your favorite Arsenal gun skin? What's your favorite Arsenal announcer? Yes, I do still enjoy playing Arsenal. I don't enjoy it as much as I used to back in 2020 as it's hard for me to be able to join a public server and just grind some levels without being row searched or called out in the chat. There's also a limit to what I can do, I can't play comp, I can't 1v1 someone without them treating it like a 1 million robux tourney, it's not as enjoyable as it used to be. I don't play games outside of Roblox except Kovox, I feel like I'll play Arsenal for a long time. My favorite gun is probably the M1A1 carbine, knife would have to be the butterfly knife. Gunskin, splots. Announcer, British. Did you ever play in stretched resolution? Yes, one time and I hated it. It feels blurry to me and my eyes are bad so it's hard for me to see targets that are far away. Will you be doing a face reveal or voice reveal when you reach a certain amount of subs? I don't know. People who are close to me and know me have seen what I looked like and heard my voice. Only very few people know who I really am. When and what made you decide to start AIM training? It was back in early October when I decided to start actually AIM training. I started AIM training because I was sick of being in that hard stuck high R6 low R7 cycle that many people are stuck in. I wanted to get better aim and being better than tanker was my dream back in 2020 as corny as it sounds. I'm not a tanker fan by any means now, but I used to be in 2020. Tips on grinding levels? What are your specs? What you use to edit? I'm not that good at grinding levels, but try and get mostly headshots and less deaths which give you more XP. For my CPU I have an i7-10700K, I have 64GB of RAM and an RTX 2060. I used DaVinci Resolve to edit. How did you reach your goal of success and how is your aim so good? I just kept uploading until I started to hit the algorithm and I was one of the lucky people who made it I guess. My aim isn't even that good, there's many players who are much better than me. I just kept aim training every day consistently. In late October to late November I was aim training for about 2 hours every day which resulted in me having some pretty good aim in my prime. I plan on aim training a lot again as I really do miss my aim from November. Did you expect to grow this fast? Did you try to grow your channel or did it just happen through your videos blowing up? Do you think you will try grow your channel more and potentially start making more longer better content? No, I didn't expect to grow as fast as I did. At first I just posted whatever for pure fun and never tried to grow. I honestly don't know what I plan on doing with the future of my channel. I do have a few good video ideas, they're unique concepts that I haven't been seen done before in Arsenal but they're going to take a lot of time. When did you meet Jenny? It was in March 2021, not going to go into full detail as whenever I do make a full progression montage I'm gonna give a lot more history to things when I do. The way I met her honestly shouldn't have happened. It was pure one in a million chance and kind of like the butterfly effect. Creepy. When will you 1v1 Rex again for a video too much Ant Fan Jr? I don't know, he doesn't like getting clipped which I can respect. If someone who I 1v1 doesn't want to get clipped and they ask me to and they're nice about it and aren't an annoying player, then most of the time I'll respect that and not clip them. When are you planning to quit Arsenal and what other content will you be posting in the future? I don't know yet, probably whenever the game fully dies. 
Content-wise I honestly don't know. I've never enjoyed FPS games. Arsenal was just a one-off kind of thing. If Arsenal dies I'll probably quit YouTube altogether. Or if I ever get too stressed from doing it. When are you going to 1v1 Jenny, your girlfriend? I don't know, I've been trying to for a while but she's scared she will do bad. Can't force her. I'm sure that would make a good video though especially if we were on VC for it. What do you think of Bedwars why did you think of making her first montage ever? If you mean the Roblox one, I hate it. It feels like the Azda version of the Minecraft one. The Minecraft one is way better. I made my first montage because I was bored back in June and I thought I was some good player despite being like mid R6 at the time. Burger King or McDonald's? Burger King all the way bro meet up at my ends with Burger King and let's hit headshots all night and bully random R6 s. Bring me a Whopper with cheese and only ketchup and I may end up feeling fat but ATLE style in the night with Humpy Dumpty and all his homies in the server with me.